What's going on guys? Welcome to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dank Links. And I want to take this time to say two things. Number one, the video I uploaded yesterday, I got a lot of attention on that. And a lot of people came to my aid, so to speak. In a time where I was feeling really bad, just about life and things in general. And I really appreciate all of your comments, likes, dislikes, any feedback that you left on that video. Um, it's important to me to have um, a good relationship with my audience, have fun with my audience, and also, I don't know, I, I, I try to be as real as I can. So I even share positive and negative stuff with my audience to my betterment or detriment. <laughs> so um, I don't know, I want to say thanks for being there for your boy. Also, a lot of people ask, why don't I put my face on these kind of videos? I don't put my face on these videos because this is like more of a casual, laid back type of series where I'm just kind of chilling making these videos. I normally make these early in the morning before I go to work um, or if I work from home sometimes, I make these on my lunch hour. So um, I'm just chilling. <laughs> that's, the, that's why I do no face cam. But I will do face cam every time I do a main series video, air quotes. What's a main series video? When these decks are complete and I make a video for like the weekends. These videos are just to fill out the week because I want to make you guys some cool content. Also, some of you guys seem to like me. So I want to give you as much of me as you can handle. <laughs> Take that how you want to. <laughs> But let's get into it, boys. Now, it's a lot of stuff we got to talk about that's Duel Links related. First thing, this deck on the right. Perfect. It's completed. This is definitely the Saturday deck. For sure, YouTube comment section is final form. This deck is bananas. I actually saved some really dank replays that I will not play for you that because I am using those replays in Saturday's video. <laughs> but... You might even see some of that of me playing this deck. Um, I believe I'm on G1 right now. And um, it's just a lot of stuff. So let's go here and talk about this. Okay. Uh, first off, let's talk about scrolling down. Did you guys know I could do that? Apparently, you can do that on this page. There's lots of information when you scroll down. Um, you know, issues with hiding global chat. Um, dual room feature coming soon, which I'm pretty excited for. Card trader update, even more cards. And then changes may, it will be made to certain skills. Here's all the changes and what? This is exactly what the changes will be? What? What? <laughs> so apparently Bandit Keeps changes can be used each time your life points decrease by a thousand. Return one card from your deck to the hand and draw another. That means that this switch route will nerf a lot of decks, but it will not nerf the suck with the atmosphere. Um, but I have moved on with that deck, but you boys may still be having fun with it. So, hey, have at it. S suck them with your heart's content. We got the personal replays coming out. You can save them boys now. I've already saved two dank replays. I'm really hyped for that. And um, Konami had to hold the L because they fucked up the tune event somehow. <laughs> so there you go. Um, also, it is officially put somewhere in here um, that the uh, that psychic card, um, psychic reactor um, is a glitch. However, it's not listed saying like in the way that it was glitching for me so hopefully they fix it um yeah so let's get into it um a lot of you guys are here want to know about this deck so let's talk about it because someone also brought to my attention i forget that every time someone watches a video it could be their first video so i gotta explain cards because a lot of you've been following the story but please just bear with us on this one so I switched to Bandit Key for obvious reasons. Switch root, duh. Um, and we're running Spear Karibo. Now, obviously, we use that just to block an attack. No other reason. No other reason that's in there. Actually, for some, if we found a better way to block attack, we would probably switch it out for Karibo. But, you know, whatever. 
So we got Kribo. We're using Dez Kangaroo. His ability says, while this card is in defense mode, if it, well, not in defense mode, if the attack is lower than the defense of this monster, the monster dies if it battles against this monster. Um, coincidentally, if a monster with lower attack battles Dez Kangaroo while it's in attack position, it might also die as well. Fun fact. <laughs> Okay, so we're using three of them boys, and now this is the game-winning card here. Um, the card that no one ever sees coming. Lady Assailant of the Flames. I banish three cards from the top of my deck. My opponent takes 800 points of D. Incredible. That's why we don't use Weevil no more. You take out Jade Insect with a Whistle, put in two Lady Assailant of the Flames, dead. Just, just as good, if not better. Uh, and Naba White Rabbit. This man can attack your opponent's life points directly for 700. It's a spirit. It goes back to the hand to end a turn. And we use it in a combo with this card, Poison Fangs, which is the main card of this deck. It's an incredible card. It says every time a beast monster deals damage, deal 500 more damage, effect damage. So that essentially makes the damage output of Death Kangaroo 2,000. And that makes the output for this card 1,200. Now, you might think that a card like that does not really have too many applications, but believe me, when I combine it with Half Shot and Desquala, you're going to have a lot of fun. They're going to take the damage from uh, the defense battle, and then they're also going to lose their monster, and they're going to take 500 from Poison Fang. Half Shot says, cut a monster's attack in half. And them other monster can't be destroyed, and that monster can't be destroyed by battle. So it's just a perfect card to go in this. We run in this boys because we worship this card. We have all of our faith in this card. Blast held by the tribute. As long as we run it, we cannot be harmed. And also, um, a faint plan. A faint plan says you can't attack face downs. For people who don't know, blast held by tribute says if your opponent has a tribute summon monster out and it declares an attack. Um, destroy all face up attack position monsters they control. Give them a thousand damage for the fuck of it. <laughs> um, and then we're also running two shards of greed. Um, you know, draw two cards, obviously. And we're running one Ryoku. Ri Ri I'm debating if I should take it out or not, but there hasn't been too many games where Ryoku has won me the game. But I would imagine that Ryoku is a game winning card. Like, I mean, it's obvious. Cut a, any monster's attack in half, give it to another monster. And your monsters attack directly? Uh, well, of course. Um, so I've been doing pretty good here. Uh, I did rank up a little bit off screen because we were having a lot of dank silver rank duels. And I didn't want to just have a bunch of silver rank duels this week. I was like, give me some gold, baby. So I want to be at least gold three or gold four by Saturday. Um, and I'm on track for that, I would say. But I want to see how far I can get with this deck or... Or should I switch to something different to climb and then get there and then use this deck? Depending on how it does. But um, I think this deck this deck is doing really well. I'm getting a very strong win ratio off of this. Um, this is the first Mako I've played with this deck, so this should be interesting. Since he has an ability to basically nuke everything, it might not work out 100% in my favor, but we'll see. Um... This isn't one of those hands for Lady Assailant of the Flames. This is one of those hands where we need um, something else. Lady Assailant is a mid to late game card. Um, that ain't what we needed either, but I'll set it anyway. That is not what we needed, but but we will take it though. Uh, so we're gonna be able to deal out 2,000 damage from this turn to the next if he just summons a monster and attacks. No, of course not. Set that yummy ship. Um, but we need to get to the Naba White Rabbit. Or maybe he set that, uh, the Watchmajig, the, uh, that, that card to let you sacrifice for, for two monsters. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Because before, when we weren't playing Makos, um, everybody just came over here and attacked. <laughs> But now that we're playing Makos, and he's going to be more cautious because he's looking to nuke the field. Um, this, this may or may not be a good thing. But since I'm not going to be pressing his cards in his hand, he doesn't have really incentive to play cards. 
So we're kind of at his mercy. So I don't like, oh, Crystal's here. Mm. Appropriate. Oh, God. We'll know exactly what he has. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll know exactly what he has in his hand by what he takes. Oh, no. He took the big wave, small wave, because he had no other choice. We're, we might take an L on this if he has the man. Oh, no. He doesn't have it. So we're going to get a nice poison fang off on this one, which is great. We need that poison fang damage. Um, would be better if we had other things, but this is how it, how it has to be. Cause we got to get our damage off. We can't we can't not put our damage in, especially knowing that he can nuke the board at any moment. And we got Ririoku to kill his boy when he comes out too. So, so I want him to drop his boy. So we can Ririoku and kill it, and hopefully we kill it with a uh, kangaroo. Um, but he's going to play his boy. I mean, the field is set, like, with everything. Like, he has to play him. Like, if he doesn't play him, he just doesn't have him. strategy my strategy ah! Im impossible my my strategy my monster's effect activates. wait why would he not okay Somebody's been watching my videos. Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. This man tried to put his fool. <laughs> Come on. Give it to me, man. We got. We have to draw a kangaroo. We got to draw a kangaroo. Ugh. Wow. Ha ah, why no kangaroo? Why do you torture me like this, deck? This is why I hate running the Shard of Greed. This is why I hate Shard of Greed. This is why I hate everything. <laughs> Give me the life from your boy. Give it to my boy. My boy is boosted. <laughs> Get him, my boy. You got Karibo Rex, son. Yeah, we're about to get that hot body real quick, unfortunately. Um, especially he looks like he, you know he has a monster. Yeah. This was unfortunate because we were always waiting behind that, you know, and we couldn't stop that. The only way we could stop that is if we had a Divine Wrath. I'm not going to bother putting a Divine Wrath in this deck just to stop Levy Dragons. Like, to be real, those cards and cards like Relinquished, you know, they, they can definitely change a game. But it's not worth running a... Like, I mean, because it's not widespread. So it's not worth running a Divine Wrath just to stop that. But normally we can burn the shit out of them. But for for some reason, I just didn't have the support that I needed at the time. <sighs> that is extremely frustrating. I hate starting off. Like, I hate starting hitting the recording button. And the first thing is an L. Oh, I hate playing against Weevil. I hate burn versus burn. But this is a different kind of burn, so I normally get advantage. But it really depends on what happens in these first few turns. It really depends, because, you know, stuff like that parasite crap, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is a different kind of weevil. This is a beat-em-up weevil.
It should be pretty dang good. We should be able to get over on this guy. I think we will be. Especially if he's just running like a beat em up weevil. Fuck. Boy, you know I'ma chain it. I ain't just gonna let you exterminate that. I run three of those. <laughs> Boy, you know I'ma chain. <laughs> of course you do. No, of course you do, though. Oh. I swear to God, that better not be a uh, whatchamajig, a goddamn uh, Giles of Dark Demise. I'll be so enraged. Like that, that like stuff like that, <laughs> that stuff like that really pisses me off. I mean, it should piss me off, but I re they really piss me off when I'm like, "Ha! Ah, don't use it on me. Use it on other people." <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna teach you how to use burn, Weevil. Return, my beast. <laughs> Let's battle. <laughs> I don't even have to play it. Conservative values, boy. I could have played it and killed this monster, but I want to save it and just keep him as a wall. I want him to play more cards to try to get rid of this while I keep chipping away at his life. Nice. Ooh, now we can finish him off if he gets that hot tribute monster. Ooh. It's gonna feel good to play that Blast Hell with a tribute. It's gonna feel a little naughty. Like Blast Hell by tribute. <laughs> Boy. No, not Karibo. <laughs> That's why I like. Waste those resources, boy. Waste them on the white rabbit. Yes, on my decoy, boy. Waste them. Waste them. This weevil's looking like, oh my god. He's like, I've never thought of poison fang in a knob of white rabbit. But I can't get past this burly beast in defense. What can I do? <laughs> in that turn. Now you understand what it's like to, to play against weevil, weevil. But I'll teach you the lesson all day. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> we can kill him next turn. We'll kill him next turn. Um, so basically next turn, I'm going to turn my uh, kangaroo to attack mode if he's still available. And then I'm going to summon the rabbit. I'm going to attack damage calc. I'm going to cut the Sonic Duck in half, and then I'm just gonna deal damage over that, plus the fangs, plus the rabbit. In game. Unless he has something to stop it. Ooh! 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 Oh, no! That is not... That is not the... A tribute that is a suck. No! Why? You're not supposed to use the suck. You're Weevil. Ha, ah, Weevil! You're not supposed to have the suck, Weevil. Uh, now you're gonna try to take me down with the suck. Uh, and you attacked with the lowest attack monster first, like a pro player. Ah, uh, uh, my life points. Boy, I ain't gonna let you take me out like that. You know I got something for it. Boy, you know I ain't gonna let you kill me. This deck too good to just die from that. It was surprising, but it wasn't, you know, game breaking, bro. <laughs> Slow your roll, buddy. Slow your roll. <laughs> um, all right, so what do we have here? If we cut that attack down by half, Mm, I don't want to take the risk. Let's do it like this. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to slow and steady. That's the type of deck we play, slow and steady. Let's see if we can knock that Parasite off course, too. We don't need a 1,000 free damage. You don't need that, son. Shuffle him up. 
Bam. There you go. You don't need that. <laughs> you don't need that, boy. <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, come over here, please. Sure. Sure you do. Come over here, boy. Please. Place. Please. Come over here, boy. Please. Oh. 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 Oh, ye. Oh. Oh. Can you feel the suck tonight? The peace the evening brings. <laughs> boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> we ain't done. Nangato! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Nani! Oh, the one time it backfires. Oh! Of course it's on camera. Of course it's on camera. Oh, why you got a homie, G1? Why you got a homie? Oh, my God. That straight up stole my victory. He saved that replay. He saved that replay. He's showing all his boys. It's on his YouTube channel right now. Go like and subscribe. Go find him. Find that man. Like and subscribe. Oh, my God. You know he, you know he saved the fuck out of that. You know he had to. Wow. Man. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Wow. Maybe this deck needs more fine-tuning than I thought. Wow. If I take an L on this and, and rank down, it's not ready. If I take an L on this and rank down, that's just that's just what I'm that's just the standard I'm setting for myself. If I take an L on this, it ain't ready. Fuck it. I'm just gonna set it. I'm not gonna bother trying to switch a it again. Like, why? Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna make changes to switch root, why don't you fix that shit? Huh, Konami? Fix that shit. Switch root should never give me the same goddamn card. Oh my god. Switch that shit, Konami. I bet you do. Hurry it up, Yugi. Oh my god. Now you see me frantically tapping the goddamn screen, about to crash my computer. Oh my god. Please, please hurry up. Banish everything I need, please. Hurry up. Good. It's all good. It's all gone now. Everything I needed. Gone. Good. Draw. Wowzers. Well, maybe. So my next card was going to be another koala. Then, I mean, another, Kuala, another Kangaroo, Ryoku, then Blast Hell by Tribute. That was a terrible three cards to draw next. It's really bad. I'm going to go for Broke and see what I get. Ooh, okay. Destiny's telling me to play the cards. Boy, Poison Fang. Pay 500 and destroy it. I don't care. Boy, boys, and fag. Something for that? Pay 500 and destroy it. I don't care. Boy, and I'm a white rabbit. And he said, trap hole, my boy. <laughs> Direct attack, my white rabbit. Boy. Fangs, fangs, boy, I'm about to take my fangs, boy, oh boy, you'll be finished on the next turn. <laughs> maybe it wasn't such a bad, maybe it wasn't such a bad hand after all. 
But it depends on if we win. Then I'll be salty if I don't. Oh, that's the econ. Dark Mimic. We have to kill him this turn. Ah! I'm saving it. I'll just take all this damage. Because there's no point. And depending on what I draw, I may or may not go for game. Depending on what I draw. Draw. All I can do is go for game. Yeah, because if I set and he summons something over, summons another monster over 1,700, I lose. Because I, I can't stop the second attack. So, I have to go for game. It's the only thing I can do. Going for game. Here's hoping. Oh, he's got something. Yeah. Rip. Ha! Uh, it's not ready, boys. Uh, it's not ready. The bun in the oven's not ready. Uh, let me know what you think I should do to get this ready. Because I keep coming. It's like it was good all the way up till this point. And now it just seems to be one card short. Now we're back now to fucking S5. Now I'm pissed. I did all that hard work. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Putting in work. They get up here. L L L. <laughs> Put in work. L L L. <laughs> like, all right, fuck it then, boys. Well, we got L's on this this time. We had to hold them L's sometimes. That's how life is. You gotta hold them, boys. Let me know what you think I should do to make this deck better. You guys really had some good comments to make the Weevil deck work, which was really funny. But I need to know what do you guys think to make this deck work? I really think that. Um, what I'm gonna do to make the changes here, I'm going to maybe put the lady assailant down to one. I don't, I don't know. I just didn't draw into any of my protection when I needed it. I don't know. I feel like it ran better without this, and I was running three of these. And also without this. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here for today. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep it dang.